Is insulin the true cause of fat loss? This is a big debate right now that I'm, I'm very on, the, on the edge of being convinced of that it actually is. Insulin levels in the body becoming the real cause and the real true essence of fat loss. I always still got to get my walking in at least one at least 30 minutes to an hour a day thing the whole premise behind this is that insulin levels in the body affects fat loss and affects blood sugar okay by by regulating the insulin levels and keeping them very low we can lose fat we can burn this blood sugar you know, Mike, you can burn this blood sugar up that's lingering throughout the I shot the a video regarding how to lower the blood sugar down for diabetics, inspired by my friend Mike, who was having incredible problems with high blood sugar. You can watch the video here. I'll put a link into it and you can check it out. But I wanted to give you an update because after since I've shot that video, he's already lost 10 pounds of fat. The body's burning that blood sugar inside his, in, that sugar inside his blood and then going and burning the stored fat during the fasting period. So good job, Mike. I do have one question that I, I, I'm not a know-it-all. I, I never you know, say that I will. This is relatively cutting, very cutting edge information. I do have a question for my audience, anyone else who watches, any subscribers who may know, and some will come on some research on the fact is, how does protein affect insulin? I understand that just pure, like MCT oils from coconuts, like MCT oils from coconuts, have no effect on insulin at all. In fact, they can help in burning fat. I understand that you know eating carbohydrates is going to definitely raise insulin, but how does protein affect insulin levels? I'm, I'm, I have mixed reviews and understanding of that, and I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth and, and my own experience. And so uh, I've, I've talked about it before that it, I believe it doesn't, but I'd like to find out what you think. You know, does protein affect insulin? If you know anything about it, leave a comment below. I recorded a video in the past called How to Prevent Muscle Loss When Intermittent Fasting. I'll put a link to it here in the video, uh, in this video, oh, you can check it out. Ian McGurr had a really good question from He's uncovered research that having whey protein, because in the video I talk about having whey protein concentrate like before and after training during intermittent fasting to prevent losing muscles. And he, Ian, asked a really good question, said that his research is showing him that that actually would stop the intermittent fasting process, which means that you're saying, Ian, your research that says it does affect insulin levels. So that's kind of the premise of this question here. Does it actually affect insulin? You know, what credible source do you know or studies or human clinical trials has anyone seen or have access to to determine the answer of that? I'd love to challenge you. that insulin levels are the true cause of fat loss are because I've been able to eat so much more food and not track calories as much and still get lean as long as my insulin levels are low. And when my, my insulin levels are low, I mean that I'm in like a fasted state for a longer period of time, like let's say 21, 22 hours, and then going and eating like big meals. The body's insulin levels are so low, it cannot, it's just, it just cannot store the food as fat. Insulin levels low, then fat loss becomes pretty much effortless at that point. You ever think of a person like who's on diabetes medication, diabetes type two, and then they give them insulin and then what happens? They, they get fat, they get, they get a lot of weight gain, start getting a bunch of fat because their insulin levels become so high. And the insulin levels get really high, they get fat, they're eating the same. Why the heck are they getting so fat? They go to the doctor, they don't know what there's, what's going on, they're doing the same things, but it's the insulin levels that's causing all this weight gain. So by keeping the insulin levels low, this could be the true cause of fat loss. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts on this because I'm not, 
I'm just talking from experience and I'm learning this this information at this point. I'm talking openly, but I really believe that we're onto something here with insulin levels in the way of fat loss. I'd love to hear, I challenge anyone to leave a comment who knows more information about this or has any studies or any experience with this themselves. Staying really, really lean, you know, and making things enjoyable. If we can control our insulin levels through fasting periods, man, everything just becomes so much easier. I even do a little tracker called Map My Walk. It's kind of helpful just to remind myself to, hey, did I get my walking in for an hour today? Did I do like 30 minutes of the sofa? Any chance I get out, get to walk, I'll just like turn the little app on, Map My Walk, boom. And away I go, man. Gotta, gotta be moving at least one hour a day no matter what. All done, 26th floor. Package is delivered. Hand delivered the package there to David Pinch's office. One Embarcadero Center. Overall, very nice. Well, Alan Edmonds, this is all the, pretty much every pair of shoes I have, besides some Giorgio Armani's, I have some Giorgio Armani's and some Ferengamos, everything else is Alan Edmonds, this store is amazing, it's good stuff right here. Alan Edmonds should sponsor me. Why wouldn't they? A lot of people commenting on my hair, thank you, for the funny comments about the Russian hat hair. <laughs> Here's the full shot of it. I've been growing it out. For three months now, it's never been this long in my entire life. I'm excited. And it's all because of YouTube. All because of YouTube. <laughs>